So this is it, man. And I get fired up about this maybe more than anything else in the world of finance. And it's this. 99% of financial media is predicated upon two things. Story and direction. If you look at everything they do, and I mean everything. I mean, this must be what sells advertising or attracts viewers. Because everything they do is based on story and direction. Some prognosticator comes out and prognosticates about the future and he attaches some story behind what he thinks is gonna happen. And then the events unfold, and if he's right, he's a genius. But what if he's wrong? What if the market randomness actually suggested that he was not correct? Well then, you know, it just gets swept under the rug, and then most likely, he's gonna attach another story to explain, oh, well, you know, this is the obvious reason that we all should have known all along for why this direction actually unfolded the way it unfolded. How could we not see this? It's so obvious. And so it, it just makes me laugh, man. It just cracks me up because nobody knows a single thing. And yet everybody in financial media is trying to attach a story to predict direction or the direction unfolds and then they attach a story kind of ad hoc to that direction. And I just get fired up about this, man. I get fired up about this because what you need to be is you need to be strategic. What you need to be is you need to, you need to approach the market with some humility. You need to approach the market just saying, you know what, I don't know a single thing. And so if you want to actively trade or passively invest, it doesn't matter, but just approach the market and respect the randomness and the unpredictability that you have just engaged with.